He was gonna flashbang you. I just saved you. THAT'S WHAT YOU THINK! What does he do this? Welcome to fucking. I will now show you fucking. A beautiful village situated on the doorstep of the Austrian Alps. The villagers I've spoken to all share the same love for fucking. Yes. Fucking may be enjoyed in various angles. Straightforward, from behind, standing up, or lying down. And last but not least, it's very enjoyable in the air. Historically, fucking was mostly popular amongst men. But during the 20th century, women have also come to love fucking. One of the reasons being the growing of fruits and vegetables, such as bananas, cucumbers, and perhaps corn. Behold the fucking church. Of course, Catholic. Priests currently away taking up a missionary position in Congo. Here we have the fucking school, where the fucking children learn everything there is to know about fucking. It gets in the school? Yeah, to yeah. summon. To summon. I must more and more enjoy fucking children. They are really polite and so innocent. Sehr schön. And this is the special fucking farm, where if you spend enough, you can rent your very own fucking horse. Oh, look at the black one. Stallion. Beautiful animals. And here, a woman who prefers fucking outside with the family dog. And I was lucky enough to meet the town mayor, commonly known as Motherfucker. If you're looking for the deepest fucking experience, I recommend this hole right here. Start with putting two fingers in. If possible, use your entire fist. In summertime, you can actually go elbow deep. It is a bit dirty. It it smells quite peculiar, but afterwards you'll reap the rewards of feeling this fantastic fucking soil. And that was all the fucking we had time for. Sure, you'll stay tuned also next week when we'll be visiting Suktik, a rural village in the Czech Republic. This has been Nikolai Ram reporting for NRK. Bye bye. お前の首を切り落としてやるぞ。無駄だ無駄。No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Put me down. <laughs> yes, I stay here. I can tell you what this really means. It means China has successfully killed the wither and now has the resources necessary to activate a beacon. <laughs> Oh, I'm